Okay, folks. So I checked before I went out today. Let's see what I got, and yeah, I don't have a whole lot left. I'm not sure if I think you can see that. Okay, there's not a whole lot of wire on there. I, I'm pretty sure I'll be good for the rest of the amount of time that I will be needing to use the welder this year but I don't know I just don't know so I, I went to put the screen around here I went to home hardware they don't have any that they have to order it uh, a two pounder is 36 I think she said 36 dollars so, do I spend the money now <laughs> I'm just thinking of all I need to do. I, I I gotta fix the holes and the bumper bars that I welded up. That won't take much. Um, this front spindle, if you remember, uh, the nut that holds the wheel onto the axle, the threads are stripped on the axle, so I want to put the, the new one on. But in order to do that, I have to alter it so the speedometer sending unit on the monster will fit on it because it's off an S a Vita Sport it's, it's the same thing but it's just it, it's it's got a different speedometer setup so I <laughs> gotta alter it so I can put the monster speedometer on it so then I don't have to worry about those stripped threads that won't take much welding. What else is there? I gotta finish... Finish the bumper. So I got... I gotta cut the, the rotten bar off and weld the new part on. And then I gotta weld the supports that go underneath the front of the monster to the part that actually holds the bumper on. At this moment, I think that's all the welding I need to do. I'm not actually sure. I'm not entirely sure. So yesterday after I finished, uh, I mentioned that I was probably going to go out to Tim Hortons again or McDonald's and grab myself another copy. Well, I did. I went to McDonald's. And I went down the laneway in the back and sat there for a bit and took a break, just relaxed, enjoying the nice temperatures. And on my way back out of that laneway, I noticed there, there's a 2x6 or something or 1x6 sitting alongside the laneway there. And beside that, there's this 1 inch steel bar that's like 5 feet long thinking I could make use of that <laughs> I don't know how to bring it home unless I take my trailer with me and bungee it to the trailer I, I just I have no way of holding a five foot steel bar while I'm driving especially if I have a coffee in my hand right <laughs> but I can make use of that like it's it's thick it's, it's an inch thick it's pretty good steel so I want to grab that nah I'm just not sure how to bring it home. <laughs> I can rest it on the floor and hold it like this, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. I haven't seen it. I never saw it until yesterday. Just sitting there. So I'm kind of on hold right now. I technically I can I can do something out here today, but I'm on tornado watch right now. Um, I have a lot to... the heck was that? <laughs> that's a garbage can blowing around on the road out there. I kind of figured that's what it was. I have a lot to watch today, and there's a live stream that's probably started already. I watched Ryan Hall's live stream yesterday. It was six hours long. Um, tornadoes in the states 
So we have this major system coming through. We're going to have it for three days. Not expecting any tornadoes here. Um, they, they're supposed to be, they're anticipating um, uh, a significant tornado event in the U.S. just south of the border here. Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, Kentucky, possibly Oklahoma, Kansas. Most of those places were on high watch last night. There was a lot of tornado watches last night. Uh, especially Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Illinois. Yeah, there was a lot of tornado watches and possible tornadoes, but nothing major. Uh, people in Joplin were watching because there was stuff heading towards them. But it wasn't tornado-ish, it was just severe storms. Had a lot of hail. They, it was like baseball size hail. So there was a lot of hail damage in the states. So that's that system still moving through. Um, it's supposed to be even worse today. But now we're being affected by it. And today we're supposed to get heavy rain, a lot of wind. Oh, it's crazy wind out there right now. And tomorrow, tomorrow, more rain tomorrow, heavier rain tomorrow, high winds, and then tomorrow night, there's a chance it's going to turn into snow for Wednesday and Thursday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we get three days where we're going to be affected by this. And once that's finished, then the nice weather comes, the double digits I was talking about, so I'm looking forward to that. But today, oh <laughs> my goodness. Oh, it's crazy. Um, I out of town. I didn't really have much of a problem when I got back into town. That's that's when I don't know if the, it's getting worse now. Now that I've come back into town, or if it's just I don't know. The streets are acting like wind tunnels. I've got leaves blowing in the door here. <laughs> so this morning was garbage and recycling pickup day. And I, I brought ours in. We ours is done like early in the morning, so I come out. I grabbed our recycling bin, took it back in while it's still in our neighborhood. And when I come back into town, I, I got down by Mini Mart. I had to stop at, at Max or Circle K, whatever you want to call it. I still call it Max to grab my milk. And I got by the Mini Mart there, and there's just sandstorm coming down the street and you'll see you can see that in the video but what you probably won't see is there's like six or seven bags of garbage and recycling coming down the street with it so I just kind of <laughs> waited I didn't want to get hit by it so I just kind of waited for it to pass but it stopped one bag of recycling just kind of come out almost made it to the sidewalk in front of me that's that was it but, oh it was insane all this sand that's blowing around right now, all, this, all the crap on the roads from the salt trucks and that from winter, it's all blowing. It's, it's, it's hard on the eyes, it just kills. Even with my sunglasses on. So I, I come up from the dam, I'm getting kind of concerned. Like I said before, uh, it's like it seems like every two years I have to replace the motor and the monster motor or the trans transaxle, whichever. And I'm in the third year now, and I, I come up from the, the boat launch, and the monster seems, the motor seems really weak, so I'm getting kind of concerned. I'm hoping it's just, because it's the, the temperature, it's only 6 degrees today, so um, the temperature is probably playing a part in it. But once I start taking everything apart and that, I'm going to check the brushes anyways, hopefully it's just the brushes are worn. So... Come out of there, I got to the intersection, waiting across, and down the, the ball diamond, oh my goodness, it, it, it looked like a, a major fire down there, it just a big cloud of smoke, all the dust blowing across the baseball diamonds, all that, that grit, right, it was crazy, 
and a transport truck passed, I had to wait wait for the sandstorm to stop so I could <laughs> pour across the road. It was crazy. It was just crazy. So it's supposed to get worse. So we have a, a high risk of power outages over the next couple of days too. I hope that doesn't happen. <clears throat> I have a lot of work to do on my computer right now. Like these videos that I gotta create. So it's just it's not a, a nice day to come out or to be out. I guess you could say. At least it's not cold. It's not super cold. So that's a plus. So I I am going to issue an apology to Tim Hortons. Only on one point. Um. So their their free drinks for filling out the survey does still include cappuccino. So yesterday when the discount wasn't applied because it was supposed to be in case you never saw yesterday's video uh, I fill out a survey every once in a while every month every two months or whatever Tim Hortons will email me a survey <clears throat> and I just give my uh, experience whatever <clears throat> and for filling out this survey then I get um, an offer or it's supposed to be an ice cap, a hot chocolate, or a French vanilla for a dollar. So they're they're like three dollars and seventeen cents or something like that. So for a dollar, it's like I'll take. I I love the, fr the French vanilla cappuccinos. They're very very rich, very high in sugar, so <clears throat> I don't get them very often. But when I used to bike in the rain, I used to get them all the time. I'd grab one on my way home, soaking wet, cold, right. And one of these, I just, I, that was my favorite time to actually drink them. So I, I had one <clears throat> yesterday, I went in, and the discount didn't apply, it was still 317 so I checked to make sure I activated it, because you have to activate it. It shows up in your, your weekly offers. So I looked at it, and it was activated, so I showed it <clears throat> to the lady behind the, the cash register, and, and she said it was an ice, ice cap or... A hot chocolate. So I thought, okay, great. <clears throat> so I thought Tim Hortons was being cheap, cheaper than they normally are. <clears throat> and I've removed that, right? So now it's just a hot chocolate. So I was going to go back today and get the actual hot chocolate. But before I went out, I looked at it again. And... The limited amount that shows up on the screen, it says ice cap or hot chocolate, right? But if you tap on details, the rest of it shows up. The French vanilla cappuccino is on the list. So why didn't it go through? So I went today and I got that. And it came down to a dollar or a dollar seven with tax. But I got it for a dollar. So why didn't that go through yesterday? I don't know. So I will apologize to Tim Hortons for blasting you on that. I some kind of error in the system. But only apologizing for that. Everything else still stands. I had uh, I had to clarify that one. Uh, I don't know what happened, but you know, it happens. So I guess that's all I got. Um, uh, today's live stream's already started, so I gotta go in do my daily videos and I'll put that one at the end so that's the last one that comes through because that'll probably last till past midnight and it is quarter to three right now so it'll be a long one it, well, it depends if they don't get the tornado outbreak that they're expecting then you know he'll land that's what happened last night everything just seemed to be calming down so they they quit get some rest before tonight <laughs> So uh, two days in a row where I couldn't really do anything on my computer. I did something before I come out today. I woke up early today, like 9.30, I don't know why. So I got a video rendering right now. I worked, I did that. That was my, the video where I welded up the bumper parts. So that's rendering right now. And as long as the power stays on, <laughs> that should complete some point today. So... It's like 45 minutes or something like that, so it'll take a few hours. Oh, excuse me.
I guess that's it. So my project out here is on hold right now for probably a couple days <coughs> until this storm system passes and the snow goes away and the weather warms up. <laughs> so that's all I got.